main system, activating combat mode. Nightfall Raven, the star mascot of Armor Core 6, fires a Rubicon. This pilot and their AC are the sole reasons the core war between the corporations on Rubicon 3 ignited and burned ablaze. But, however, throughout the game, little is known about this pilot besides the few appearances the player has to digest. In this video, I will unveil who this pilot is and their AC's origin story. If that interests you, stick around in this video to learn how all the pieces fit together. With that being said, let's get into it. During the Core War on Rubicon 3, Augmented Human C4621 aka the player will encounter this mysterious AC several times throughout the story. The first encounter can be seen on the first mission, Illegal Entry, inactive and heavily damaged at the crash site. We steal their ID credentials to be legalized on the planet. For the rest of the game, we pose under the call sign Raven. We will encounter this pilot and their AC a second time on the mission Defend the Old Spaceport, where we are urgently requested by the corporation's Snyder to defend an old spaceport from the stranded Planetary Closure Administration, or the PCA, fleet seeking to recapture the spaceport to refuel. By the time we show up at the spaceport, we are at the scene of the crime. Nightfall has taken out both sides of the forces to test us and see if we are worthy of the call sign Raven. We will encounter this pilot one last time on the mission Defend the Dam Complex, where the Rubicon Liberation Front Group urgently requests that we defend a dam complex against two top-ranking AC pilots. By the time we get there, the battle is already in progress, and we swoop into action by going on the offensive against these two invading AC pilots. As the battle goes on, we seem to be expected to show up and defend the dam's location, like the move was anticipated carefully. During their encounter, Nightfall shows up as a third string to the instrument to play the power chord with us. Once again, this was a test to see if we were worthy of the call sign Raven. After the battle, we can conclude that Nightfall was a member of the hacktivist group branch. Outside of these encounters, they are mentioned twice mistakenly because of the stolen ID we are in possession of. This is where we discover that they were the ones that leaked out secret information to the corporations about the coral substance reappearance on Rubicon 3. Outside the main story campaign, there is very little evidence to pick up on this main character. Surprisingly, they are the only member of Branch that doesn't have a formal background story to read from in the arena data. Instead, we are greeted with analysis information about them from the AI system Allmine. They are filed under the analysis subject program 51-016-GA. I was able to decipher some of this file name as the 016 part represents data from an actual mercenary and the GA abbreviation represent gamma assimilation. All minds sought to assimilate this pilot's data due to its analysis of the core theory. This was a thought that placed the survival rate of the pilot solely on the equipment of their armored core, which forces the pilot to bond to the AC to a point of one-to-one -one integration. Another interesting point stated by All Minds description was that this character works behind the scenes in the shadow. This made me wonder what other events in the Core War lined up due to this character's covert influence. If we look at its schematics, the foundation of the Armor Core is made up of RAD parts catalog with a bit of Balaam overt influence. Interestingly enough, the head unit on this schematic HC 2000 dash BC Nightshade is a custom unit derived from the HC 2000 Finder Eye. 
that was comprehensively rebuilt by an anonymous independent mercenary group. We can piece it together that this was the branch group. On the speculative side of things, it is a general consensus that Nightfall and their pilot was one of Walter's original hound groups that survived unexpectedly from the story trailer during that assault on the base. Thanks to one of my subscribers for the thought that this was once a hound that has turned into a raven since hounds are typically looked at as servants with masters and ravens are regarded as free will thinking entity capable of endless possibilities plus 617's head wasn't shown in the trailer at the end of the battle making it seem like it was blown off which is why branch had to make a new one more suitable to the mission this pilot will embark on without their handler with all these points about nightfall and their pilot was extremely difficult to come up with a solid origin story for this character but that's where i was able to draw this conclusion main system entering tinfoil hat mode i know from soft hasn't done any in the past but this would be a great generation to start this tradition if FromSoft wanted to implement a major DLC content game changer to Armor Core 6 they could make the DLC focus on the origin story of Nightfall and their journey on and around Rubicon the contents could provide extra prequel missions about Nightfall's status of being a hound under Walter and how the planet was before the fires of Ibis. This is why the pilot of Nightfall stays silent during our encounters. It is because the pilot is us, the player, when we play during the possible DLC origin story of this lone mercenary. This idea stems from the influence of Armor Corps for answer when we meet White Glint in battle and the pilot doesn't say anything while the operator does all the talking. The mercenary of White Glint during this time is the same mercenary from the previous game, Armor Core 4, as the savior of Anatolia, who is the player. This content could expand on aspects of Nightfall, Branch and its members, Walter, the PCA, Father Thumb Domayan, and the Coral with its sea wave mutation. So unexpectedly, I feel like I've stumbled upon more than I asked for in terms of what future DLC of this generation could pertain since going beyond the story in a forward manner has been capped off extremely well. So what do you all think about my thoughts on Nightfall? Let's talk about how thick my tinfoil hat is now in the comment box below. I want to thank you all for watching this video and if you thought this was interesting hit that like button for me and if you haven't done so already subscribe to the channel for more interesting lore videos like this one. I love creating and producing content on all things on the core. Until then I want you all to take care, stay safe, and stay fly Ravens.